It's with us from Baltimore's Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake. Mayor, good morning. Good morning to you. Can you give us an assessment of where Baltimore is this morning at this moment? This, this morning, this is the morning after the second day of our citywide curfew. And I'm pleased that overnight we had uh, relative calm, very few incidents. What you saw is more reflective of the true story of Baltimore. You saw community leaders, you saw elected officials but working together uh, to bring the peace. Uh, you know, it, it is the strangest thing. Even uh, we had, we saw last night gang members who were out on the corners who were trying to encourage peace and getting people to go home. Um, you know, we've had a very dark time in our city, uh, and there's a lot of pain here, but there's also a resiliency that is characteristically Baltimore. Mayor, why are there still no answers about what happened to Freddie Gray? And do you support releasing the police report when it's complete to the entire public? So the, the, this is the thing. We need to make sure that there's justice for, Gritty, for Freddie Gray and for his family. And when you talk to his family, his family understands very well that in order to get justice, not just to seek it, uh, not just to have the optics of justice, but to, have, be, to be able to seek it, you have to protect the process. And that's what we've been trying to talk about. Community leaders, clergy leaders, the Gray family, we have to protect the process. Yes, they want answers, but they want answers in a way that will best protect their ability to get justice for Freddie Gray. What's and justice? that's my focus. But no, but Mayor, why not? I mean, you, you talked about a city in pain. There are questions mm -hmm. about police tactics all across the country why not have transparency well you, the I have to re reject that premise the pain that you saw yes it is about Freddie Gray but it's about so much more mm -hmm. uh, if, if it were just about Freddie Gray on the day that his mother begged the city his family begged the city for peace so that she could mourn you wouldn't have seen what you saw on Monday it's about larger issues and those are those issues that we're working on and my prayer for my city and for cities across our, our country is that during this time of unrest and during this time where it's very clear that people are in a lot of pain, that we find a way to communicate with each other. So we're on the same page. We can't want justice for Freddie Gray or any Freddie Gray across this country and not Mayor. at the same time be fighting for the process to move forward. Uh, Mayor, it's been a rough week for you personally. It's been a rough week for the city. If you had any do-overs, what would it be? That's a, a, a good question. and, and um, you know, if, if you're talking about operationally, every incident we've had, and, and I've been mayor during many, a derecho, an earthquake, a tornado, a flood, uh, you know, Super Bowl parades that had, you know, almost a million people here that could have gone any which way. We've, we've done it all, and I feel very comfortable with my track record for dealing with uh, that level of crisis. You but were, in a you crisis... Were, let, let, me, let me phrase it another way. You were criticized for mm -hmm. calling some of the protesters thugs. You know, a lot of people look at these people and say, look, these are people in pain, they're striking out because they don't Absolutely. have any options in their city. Do you regret using that word? I, I regret it and I've apologized several times. You know, it was very clear to me in the heat of uh, what was going on, in the heat of this crisis, I let my anger overcome me. And I, I've apologized multiple times. And I apologize not just for the fact that I use the word, but because it has forced a conversation about a word instead of about the pain that many people are feeling across our city. Should you have called in the National Guard earlier? You know, again, I don't think that they, I don't think anyone gains from trying to politicize this. You know, I'm from Baltimore. I grew up here. My parents grew up here. I'm raising my daughter here. I love this city. And when you see your city burning, you will do anything in your power to bring the resources necessary to bring healing and to fix the problem. So as soon as it was clear that we needed the National Guard, I made that call without hesitation, without equivocation, period. Mayor Stephanie Rollins-Blake, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.